Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we are selling t-shirts right now, Song Theory. Description below, pick yourself up one. Today we're actually talking about Joji. People want to cancel Joji, y'all. Why? If you guys don't know who Joji is, um, he actually was first known as Filthy Frank. Uh, Filthy Frank had a bunch of viral videos around, I guess, uh, between like 2016 and like 2018 or something like that. But anyway, he went viral with crazy videos, crazy lyrics, crazy songs. And it seems like the younger generation of people are realizing who Joji is and the lyrics that he's made. So let's talk about that for a second. So I have a TikTok account. I'll put the name here. I know a lot of you hate TikTok, but you know, this is where I found out the information, right? So I was on TikTok surfing through, and apparently there is a wave of people who are just now figuring out who Joji even is. They're just realizing that Joji used to be Filthy Frank. Now, I'm not going to put any videos from Filthy Frank on here because I don't want to get copywritten. I don't want to get like struck down or anything because the guy's name was Filthy Frank for a reason, otherwise known as the pink guy. Now, Filthy Frank was known for his craziness. Uh, he was all over the place. He had filthy language, uh, filthy content. He was just a hateful person, but that's why everyone loved him. He was a lovely, weird, off-putting guy. It was funny. He used to joke about all types of crazy stuff. And we found that funny, of course, like I said, back in 2000, whenever. But now kids are starting to realize that Filthy Frank had some problematic songs and some problematic uh, content. <sighs> so now let's talk about cancel culture. Cancel culture of late in the last five years has been, I mean, the arbiter of many failed careers. And it is starting to get on my nerves, personally. Now, I think cancel culture has a great, a, a great place in pop culture. I understand why it exists. You don't want people to gain power and gain money and stuff if they are irresponsible with their content, right? And that's where it comes from. It comes from a place where people who are conscious, they say, hey, you know, I don't like that content. I don't like the fact you said the N-word. I don't like the fact that you're joking about suicide, blah, blah, blah. Let's cancel them. So I understand why cancel culture exists. I don't like it. To cancel somebody out all because of something they did back then, and they changed their content, they changed their ways, and now we're gonna counsel them for something they did 10 years ago. I'm not even gonna sit and say I was perfect 10 years ago, but ever since cancel culture came out, I was worried that if I ever got famous for any reason or ever had a big platform, people were gonna come after me. So I deleted all my bad content. So you can't catch me, ha! Nice try. But back to Joji, I am upset because Joji is one of the most creative, uh, passionate musicians that I've seen in the last five years and so for people to come out and be like wow I can't believe Joji was was filthy Frank we need to cancel him we need to cancel 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 it's like slow down because all right once again he, he joked about suicide he joked about killing people he joked about all that stuff but let's talk about some other people that you might be fond of that also made terrible jokes and some poor content let's talk about Tyler the creator you guys love Tyler right so do I. He used to make songs about killing pregnant women, raping women, killing people. He used to make songs about all that stuff. Should we cancel him? Let's talk about Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber was on video at the age of, I believe, 14, and he was caught saying the N-word, the hard R, several times. Several times. Are we going to cancel him as well? See, the issue that I have is that we pick and choose people that we want to cancel. And I'm getting tired of that. Now, once again, I know a lot of you hate TikTok, but I've been on it for a little bit and I've learned that it exists on there too, on every platform. And one person will say something like the N-word and get canceled. And another person can say the N-word, but because they're cute, they're famous, they're wealthy, they are popular, they don't get touched. But these other people do. Cancel culture needs to end because unless we can stop cherry picking who gets canceled and we start doing a whole blanket cancellation, then it needs to stop. But that's the joke, right? That's the point. That is the catch 22. You cannot cancel everyone because if cancel culture was true to its essence, 
all of us would be canceled. Isn't that the beauty of it? Isn't the beauty of it that everyone has made mistakes? If you go back on anybody, you'll find something on them. I promise you. So for these young children, these teenagers, these 20 something year olds who are on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and t uh, TikTok, all these places, it's like they want you to be perfect. They want you to have a perfect past, a perfect back record, and it doesn't exist. Once you get to a certain age, it does not exist. You either did something bad that people can find or you did something bad that they can't find. Either way, you did something bad. We all have. So stop the cancel culture. Stop it. Joji has made up all of this great content, all these great songs, like Slow Dancing in the Dark, you know, the one that you love listening to? Yeah, he made that song. And the same guy that made that song, he was the pink guy. He was Filthy Frank. But those were the things that he did in the past. That's over. That's not who he is anymore. Just like Justin Bieber isn't the N-word saying, joking about black people kid that he used to be. Hopefully. And just like Tyler, the creator, doesn't joke about killing pregnant women and raping women. He doesn't joke about that anymore. And so what do we do with this information? What can you do as a creator or as a consumer of content? Well, what you can do now is stop the cancel culture. You can do it too. It is possible. Guys, I'm starting a new hashtag. It's called cancel, cancel culture. And it's time that we cancel, cancel culture. I'm done with it because it's impossible. You cannot cherry pick who gets to be put away and to cancel jail and who doesn't. They might've made the same mistake. Let's say the N word. Both parties might have said the N-word, but we're only going to arrest one of them because we don't like them as much as the other? Not fair. And a lot of people who subscribe to cancel culture also subscribe to racial equality and, and gender equality. Well, let's talk about that, right? You know that people are being incarcerated at a higher rate than other types of people? You get the point here? You don't like the way the justice system works in our country and how they disproportionately arrest people who commit the same crime. But here you are, the high council of cancel culture doing the exact same thing. Shame on you. And shame on anybody who supports cancel culture because that is not how humans are supposed to work. Yes, Joji might have made some content that was unsavory, but so has every content creator. There is no perfect content creator you will not find it. And if you do find it, they probably deleted the video that was so controversial before you even got to them. It's time to cancel, cancel culture. It's over, it's done. It's done. If someone makes a mistake and they continue to make that mistake, they continue to say those words, they continue to make that content, then yes, that person should be gotten rid of until they apologize at the very least. But if the person doesn't make that content anymore and they stop doing this offensive thing, then there's no reason to cancel them. This goes far beyond just YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers, and Twitterers. This goes to celebrities as well, like the ones I just mentioned. Not just the musicians, I'm talking about the big actors like Kevin Hart. People who are getting canceled for something they did way back then and who no longer make that content or make those jokes, but yet they're being judged by that same content they made. Guys, we are human. Stop it. It's time to cancel, cancel culture. It's over. Let the past be dead and move on. We're all human, we've all made mistakes. Some are public, but if they either A, apologize, or B, stop making that content, then let it go. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all, and once again, I make these videos because I just want to get my content out there, and if you guys find anything on me, I'll apologize for it. I'll stop making the content. I don't know what I've done, but I'll stop doing it, I promise. Once again, we sell t-shirts in the description below. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later. Hashtag cancel, cancel culture.